if we want an equation for this line, what we're going to do, so we can see that it goes to this point and probably like at this one right here. And if we look at the change in y, that went up by 4. So as a fraction, we got a positive 4. And it's going to go to the right by 8. So it looks like that's about uh, 1 half. Okay, so it looks like the slope would be about 1 half there. Next thing we want to do is find the y-intercept, which is right about in here. Three. Well, yeah, that's three. So to write the equation for this, we've got y equals one half, one half x plus three. Plus three. Very good. Uh, you could use the equation if you wanted to. You could use the line as well. You can see on the 18th day right here, it's about 12 parakeets. You can see there. Uh, you could plug that into the equation too. So one half times the 18th day plus a 3, which is still 12. Okay. So 12 parakeets. Okay. You have some students that are on the honor roll. You have some students that play sports. And you have some students that do both. Okay. So uh, we could look at this one and we could see here how many students are on the honor roll. Well, it shows that there's 115. Okay. How many of those students play? How many students play sports? Well, just 45 play only the sport. So you can see in this diagram where the two circles come together. That would mean that that is where they both play a sport and are on the honor roll. And how many students play a sport and are on the honor roll? 250. Okay. So, well, the thing is, is it says is there's 440 <coughs> students. So there's one more option here. You've got a number of students that are neither on the honor roll or play a sport. So we got to figure that out, okay? So if there's 440, if we add all these together, we get a 0 and a 10 and a 1, 410. So there's 30 out here that are not on the honor roll, and they're also not on a sports team or play a sport. This is how we will end up making our two-way tables, okay? We need these numbers. Uh, well, I guess a two-way table is just a different way to represent this garbage. Uh, and yes, this is called a Venn diagram, if you don't know, don't know but uh, you got relative frequencies also. So what's the frequency, what are the frequency that a student is on their honor roll and plays a sport to all the students? Well, how many students uh, are on the honor roll and play sports? 250. 250. And how many total students are there? 440. You just got to divide these two. Just get rid of the zeros. 25 over 44. Usually the frequencies are some type of decimal, though. So if you have a calculator, you could put that in your calculator, and it would tell you what it'd be. Uh, it could be a percent if you wanted to. A decimal is just a different way to show a percent. Sure. And you should. You should use decimals on this one. Is there evidence that students that play sports are also on the honor roll? Well, yeah. As we can see right up in here, then, yes. 250 out of the 440 students that uh, play sports oh, are also on the honor roll. Okay. Sure. So from this, uh, if we were to look at this Venn diagram, how many students total play sports? Two ninety-five. Two ninety-five. Two ninety-five. Okay. Because you guys can see right up in here that forty-five only plays sport, 
and then there's 250 that are playing sports and are on the honor roll. So you just got to combine those together, okay? Yes, Pointer Ash, yeah. That's 250 out of 365, but uh, we did something a little bit different there. We did it compared to all the students, okay? So that's good. Making a two-way table, all right? So you got to list all the options. For example, you over here, you'd put on the honor roll, okay? Or not on the honor roll. And then over here, we got uh, either they play sport or don't play sport, okay? And from here, we're just going to make a table. So you've got these four, these four uh, cells that you can enter some info on. And then in here at the bottom, you're just adding up and down, up and downwards. Or these ones over here, when you add side base. All different ways you can construct these tables, because there's not really a specific way. But uh, notice here, Philippe. Surveyed students at his school, and then he found that 78 students own a cell phone, and then 57 of those students own an MP3 player. So notice the two things we have up in here. We've got either they've got a cell phone, so we've got cell phones, and we've got uh, MP3s. Yes, you are a gorilla. Uh, so... From here, it tells us some of these values. Uh, let's see. So you found that 78 students. Okay, so let's look at cell phones up here at the top. Right here. So the cell phones. We got, uh, got some cell phones, right? What are the two options with cell phones? A cell phone now. Uh, you either have a cell phone <laughs> or, you or, you don't. Don't. or no cell phone. Phone. Yeah, cell phone. Cell none? What? Yes, you got a cell phone, right? You either have a cell phone or you have none cell phone. <laughs> you have a none cell phone. I don't think that's a battle you want to fight, do you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about MP3 players? What are the two options here? You either have one. You either got, one. Yep. You either got one. Got one. Or you don't. Sure. Okay. Oh, that works. In this problem, it tells us all these values of uh, different... Uh, Number of students that have stuff, okay? So 78 students own a cell phone. So where would the 78 go in these four boxes? Uh, okay, well, 78 students own a cell phone, right? Well, here's the thing. This is cell phone. This is the total number of students that have one. So this is where the 78 goes, right in here. What this tells us is that... Uh, 70, 57 of those students own an MP3 player, so it's still talking about the 78 that have a cell phone, uh, but 57 of those own an MP3 player as well, okay? So this 57 will go right in here. Okay? Okay, does So there are 13 students that do not own a cell phone. But own an MP3 player. There's an MP3 right there. Uh, so 13 students that do not own a cell phone but own an MP3 player. Where would this go? 13. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, they, they don't own a cell phone, so it's got to be somewhere in here. Yeah. Okay. But they do own a, uh, an MP3 player. So they do. They don't, but they do. So there's a 13 right here. Got they don't none. Bond call them? No, no, no. Yeah. Got none. So let's look at this then. How many total students have an MP3 player? Approximately 70. 70, excellent work. That was very good. That's under the don't so, and the don't none. Yeah, they, they don't, they don't and they none. So you're up to nine up in here. Okay, now we can fill in the rest of this table. So what number goes right up in here? Kaden knows it. Kaden knows it. Kaden knows it. 20, 30. 30. Excellent. Good. What number goes right here? Um, that would be 21. 22. 
And finally, what number goes here? One hundred. Now, some of you guys may know, notice, if we add the two totals here, we should get the same number here by adding these totals together here. So that's pretty nifty. It's a nice thing about the two-way table. All right, let's look at this beautiful table, which has been constructed kind of for you. And uh, we'll just fill in all the empty spaces so that we can feel good inside, okay? All right, so uh, notice... As each person enters the theater, this person's counting how many people have popcorn and drink. Popcorn and how many, how many of the 105 people? Yeah, so we're counting how many, uh, how many people have popcorn and a drink, okay? How many total people did he count? That's 105, but where does the 105 go? Oh, Caden knows. You have to wait until after Tyler. Caden. Tallest column. Tallest column. Tallest column. Tallest column. Total. Total. Which, where there's, this is, there's a column and then there's a row. The bottom right corner. Excellent. Yay, Caden. That is excellent, actually. There's a hundred or five total people that he's counting. Well, what are the two things that we're comparing here? Johnny? People that have popcorn and drink. Okay, so you got popcorn. Let's write that up in here. And well, the other thing, uh, very good, Johnny, is the drinks. Okay, and what are the two options with drinks? You either, you either either have or none drinks. Very good. You either have or none. Oh, good. You got one or you don't. Have none. Or you don't got it. What about popcorn? You either do or you don't. Sure, that's fine. You either do or don't. You either do or do not. Okay. All right, well... Let's read the rest of this then. He found out that 84 people that had, of 84 people that had popcorn, so where does the 84 go? 84 goes on the have popcorn. popcorn. The people that do what? have on the top left. Okay, so you guys, some of you say the do top have. left? Yeah. Or yeah is that the only? That have and that have, have do. Popcorn. Popcorn. They tend to not he have found popcorn. that of 84 people, that have popcorn. So 74 oh. people have popcorn. Caden. Caden. Okay, so people who had just popcorn, 84. No, people who had popcorn, 10 of them didn't have a drink. So there is. There's a, there's a total of 84 people that had popcorn. Yeah, so where does that so go? On the top left column at the top in the right. right. Here. Down right here. to the top left. Right there. Okay, well, that's another guess. Yes, it's camping. It's in the, the popcorn call at the bottom. Bam! Right oh, yay! Now. I got okay. it. Excellent. Cambria, this is 84. Good job, Cambria. Okay, because it said of 84 people that had popcorns. Ten. So that's a total. See, because they do have popcorn, it's an 84. So in other words, these 84 people have popcorn. How many of those did have a drink? Ten. Four. Ten. Ten oh, no, did not have a drink. Oh, I meant not have a drink. Yeah, they did not have a drink. So ten, none had a drink. So how many had a drinks? Um, approximately seventy-four. Seventy-fours. So how many? How many people have a drink but don't have popcorns? Uh, twenty-seven. Fifteen. 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 Okay. Well, the final thing we need is these two totals right up in here. So uh, 74 plus the 15 is uh, 89. the 89er. 16 is the don't non column. And 10 plus 6. Very good, 16. Excellent work.
For example, 57 in this one. How many, how many people is that out of, the 57? Kaden. Like 100, I think. 70. 100. 70, 70 right 70. here, okay? Because we're just, it'll, it'll show you the columns that you're looking for the totals with, okay? If it had the totals over here, then we would say 57 out of uh, 78, okay? But in this case, it's showing the totals here in this bottom row. So for this one, we're just going to take 57 and divide it by 70, which is some awful decimal, which I can't figure out in my head. Decimals are not awful. So what type of decimal? What decimal is it? 0 0.814. 0.814, that's great. Well, what about this one? How would we do this one right here? Bam, there you go. 13 divided by 70, and your calculator is? 0.186, very good. These are our relative frequencies. Now the total is the total out of the total. So this would be 70 out of 70, which would be? 100%. 1, okay, because it's the same thing. We're just adding these two to get this one, the one, okay? And then finally, we got a 21 out of 30, which in, uh, what is that, uh, 7 tenths? Yeah, 0.7, very good. And so 9 out of 30, very good. 0.3, what's 0.7 plus 0.3? 1. So these, this is our relative frequency right in here. And you got these three and these three. Done.